thing that I, I think it's, it's, it's a bit similar to things like this. When they know that a book contains truth, they price it so high so that average people like me and you would afford to just go spend $500 on a book, just a book right that is where they hide most of the truth of this world they hide it in a book and make it so high the cost to be so so high that you can't just ordinarily um acquire it so let's get to see something here it's history right, not we have hate the, book, the picture history of jewish civilization now this video is not intended for hate or hate speech i'm just showing pictures that is all Okay, and I bought this book used. Apparently, the previous owner had it in 1971. Jewish sources. Right here in the contents, we have Hebrews in the biblical period, Babylon, and so forth. Now, this is quite interesting. Number six, an independent Jewish kingdom in Central Asia. And we have the Khazars. Okay. Now, let's look at what the Hebrews of that time period looked like as you can see a semitic person of color semitic prisoner painted on terra coda okay as we can see two semitic hebrew or israelite women you can see the hoop earring the nose the broad lips etc woman of color as we can see a man with an afro what not okay people of color same thing over here people of color with the afros doing their task and what not right here we have the pharaoh the egyptians became familiar with a horse and wagon after the victory of the hikos in the beginning of the long period 1730 through 1580 BCE, the rule of the Asiatic peoples of the land of the pharaohs. Okay. You see that? Same thing right here. Now let's skip a couple pages and look at thought this picture was quite interesting as well okay as we can see here is a Israelite or Hebrew and when we zoom in we can look at his features you see we got the woolly kinky hair the beard and so forth same thing over here as well so that's all I wanted to share. No hate. The press, stop it. Look at Putin. Putin is showing who the Negroes are. When you go into Russia, they never took our murals now. These murals are from the Black Russian Archives Church that you can see when you go to YouTube. Putin was showing the world who we are. He wanted everybody to see it, but if you notice, the American cameras, they took the camera and they dropped it. When you go through all of Europe, all of France, all of Germany, all of Italy, all of Russia, all of the European nations and the Americas, you're going to find out something. That the so-called Negroes or Moors, Moors only mean that you're black. Moors ran everything and a lot of these Moors were Jews. Some were Sephardi Jews and some of them were, were, were other type of Jews, but these Jews or Israelites ran what you would call the European nations. That's why when you go into Germany, they find bodies that are thousands of years old, and these bodies are so-called Moors. And when they go into Britain, Britain just means sons of Isaac. That's exactly what it means. Britain, when you get a lot of these names, as Johnson, um, uh, Mc McKeever, and, and McDowell, you would think that these names were actually European. But you got to remember, these people were in the Caucasus Mountains. They didn't even speak English. These so-called Negroes and Moors taught them English. And when they came in, in the later in the 19th century, they basically took over all of Britain, France, Germany, from the 11th century. Oh, 19, after the 19th century, they took over everything. 
everything. And what they did, they came through and they whitewashed everything. So I'm showing you pictures of the ancient nobles here right now as we speak. Matter of fact, here's a picture here of the painting by Michelangelo, and it's, it's, it's in the 16th chapel, and it's of Joseph and Jacob. Here's another one of Moors fighting what they call wild men. And here's a picture of Robert Pufus by Gene Farkas, or king, he was a king in Britain. And here Inside this restored synagogue, there are pictures everywhere. Historical evidence is right before my eyes. This extraordinary building has much to be desired. Of the four pictures, it is clear to see that the Moroccan Jews of the past were highly melanated beings. Here we see black Jews walking through the Medina, asking Israelites at the Bab El Masa in Magador. It was time to explore the rooms. In the corner, there was another picture of these black Jews at the Bab El Masa and an even more fascinating one on the wall in this dark room. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, and shalom to the elect. So, anyway, I saw this uh, young lady um, go into the um, the uh, books, the hitting books, overpriced books to hide our history. And uh, I think it was intriguing. I know some brothers had shared that information before, but she put a clip together. So I wanted to uh, touch on that in this uh, show, <clears throat> which we know the hypocrisy and the lies and deception. And as I always like to say, um, they made it about, they made race about color. And what they had to do is make, make a, st a negative stereotype on our color. <clears throat> but in order to do that, they had to put a, uh, a positive stereotype on their color. So they created the race and color thing, right? But we received the short end of the stick of it uh, because they knew who we were. <clears throat> now it was titled Putin was the one also was showing off and showing who the Israelites are. But I believe she said the camera or the, the guy in the video said they dropped the camera whenever um, they showed these images. And the reason why they want to keep it from America, because this is where uh, a great wave of the Israelites have come uh, also the Israelites are the ones that make America great right as Trump liked to say you know who made America great the ones you brought into slavery the ones you see running up and down the football field the athletes the inventors right the musicians the entertainers the actors and although some of them may look like other nations as well it's still in, in, uh, is still an Israelite thing. And this is why they need to, uh, as a Hosea 1 and 10 says, the children of Israel and the children of, and the children of uh, Judah shall come and appoint themselves one head. And that's what they're afraid of. This is why they got to keep the negative separation with the black and white thing. But we must go to the roots and stop all the lies, you know, break the strongholds of the lies. Why would they try to keep that from us, right? We know. Now, we know with that, um, uh, a good example, let's go back to the a good example, going back to Genesis. Now, we understand that Edom gets nothing originally of his own, right? So let's go to Genesis 27 and 21. It says, And Isaac said unto Jacob, uh, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou uh, be very, um, be my very son Esau or not. And you understand the story, Esau was the firstborn, so he's supposed to get the birthright. <clears throat> but you know, in examples of the Bible, the Most High, on special occasions, he will have, just like Moses and um, 
Aaron. Aaron was the older brother, but Moses kind of got, you know, the blessing to do certain things, right? So anyway, and Jacob went near unto Isaac, his father, and felt him and said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy, right? Were hairy as his brother's Esau hands. So he blessed him and said, uh, art thou my son Esau? Uh, and he said, I am, right? Uh, so we can see the example of covering and, um, you know, changing the image all the way back to Jacob. Right. So it's kind of crazy because um, the uh, the Lord is uh, Yahweh is the one that blessed Esau with the sword. And he'll be the one that take the sword from Esau. You see, it just that's what it is. It's how the Lord works. So you can see how, you know, Rebecca set the stage through the spirit. Even though Esau came out first, she set it set up Jacob to look like Esau. So that would be your changing of images, right? It's just what it is. So Esau, he's trying to change that image back. So it's in his spirit to cover up the identity of the, the, the biblical Israelites. It's just what it is. I just noticed that as I was uh, listening to um, the commentary, right? Let's go to Sirach. Um, 23 and 19 such as such a man only fear of the eyes of men and know that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun now the Lord ordained all of this you know he allowed them to cover up the images that's how he took on a heritage you know and then you'll say you'll have people say we're jealous and you know we well we want our we we want our heritage back we're getting it back and you have a, we have a right to be jealous, to be honest. The Most High is jealous. You tell me, if somebody stole your house, stole your car, stole your family, and they're living up in there, you don't have that right to be jealous? Right? But we got to wait on the Lord to give it back to us. Now, envy not thy oppressor, and, and, and you know, meaning you don't choose his ways. We wait on the Lord. The Lord is going to give us, you know, all those emotions run through us, man. When you see this stuff where years ago, as I keep saying in videos, they always, you know, they got videos up saying is the Israelites black. Is this, they're questioning everything. But when the white images was up, nobody questioned anything. But now that we're questioning these images and these lies and we're exposing it, now it's a problem. All the proof is there. Now you got people saying that was from the Kush dynasty that they painted those images. Come on, man. It's from particular dynasties that they decided to paint their image. Wouldn't they paint the images of their damn self? And let's say that was the case. They would paint the images of the people who would, who would directly fit that complexion. Everybody knew and everybody knows that this man ain't the real biblical Israelites. The majority of the world knows this, but not in America, right? They did a good job brainwashing you. They did a heck of a job giving you bread and circuses, giving you, let you chase the dollar. You would agree or disagree, you don't care. Give you churches and give you curriculums and say you're men of God, and then teach that all mankind can make it. Before you teach everybody can make it, why aren't you teaching the fact of people's identity and who the hell they are? Let's go to Luke 8 and 17, one of my favorite scriptures. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be uh, known and come abroad. This is all biblical. So, if these images are false of the black images and it was all about white images when they came into power why would they have to whitewash anything if they were their legitimate original images 
why would they whitewash anything? Why wouldn't they just had to keep the images white as they were painted white? So-called. Why did they have to come and say, oh, this is the wrong image. Let's repaint it. So, you know, they had to know the truth to tell this lie. They had to know. And that's why they did it, right? Because art imitates a form of life, right? And you can control people through what they see because people are carnal in nature, especially Americans. You see a new pair of shoes, you got to have them. You see that new iPhone, you got to have it. That big screen or a woman or a man, whatever it is, you almost got to have it. We're all geared to everything we see we must grab and take. But the one thing we see spiritually is the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we got to have. And that will change everything. And this is the start of it. That's why he says the kingdom of heaven starts within you. And, and a lot of you who have that white skin, who are actually biblical Israelites, you're going to get <clears throat> melanated, right? Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, right? What's one of those crafty counsels? They got together in the, in the 1400s, late 1300s, and said, hey, we got to rewrite history. We got to change the paintings. And this shows you they had no flavor. They couldn't take their history that they made, so to speak, how they conquered and stole and built a foundation off of that. No, they didn't do that. That's why they stole. They couldn't go into their own land and build up Edom and make their land great among themselves. Because they, in order to make a great nation, you would have to destroy the top nation and use them to build your nation. We can only imagine building up the kingdom of heaven, how they will be used, but they will not be the greatest architects their labor will be suffice but it's going to be the way we want it done the right way just like they did us they want their brick and rock right we're going to have precious stones precious metals you know different um let's go to uh Sirach. Um, the first Maccabees, Lachia, 1 and 46. Um, uh, 45. Now, Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. Um, and it says, there was none of her children who, no, let me go on to the point. Wherefore, the Israelites assembled, let me, no, let me read that. Now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out, right? Like a siege. Uh, it says the sanctuary also was trodden down and the aliens kept the stronghold. The heathen had their habitation in that place and joy was taken from Jacob and the pipe with the harp ceased, right? Our joy is still taken away, man. You know, that's why we don't have these great parties as Israelites as far as these pa great Passover parties, man. You know, you're not supposed to. We ain't delivered yet. It says, wherefore, the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masfa over against Jerusalem. For Masfa was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. And you look at Masfa as a place opposite to Jerusalem. It says here, which Judas Maccabees and his followers assembled themselves to bewail the desolation of the city and the sanctuary and to inflame uh, resentment before the battle of Immunus by the sight, um, uh, it says, it says by the sight, not only for the d distant city, which was probably visible from Immunus but also of the book of the law mutilated and profaned, right? And this is what you see in, in as, as a nation of people, 
you've created these images, you've pushed out this lifestyle, and our people are profaned and mutilated. Uh, it says, for Masfa was the place where they prayed a full time to Israel. Then they fasted that day and put on put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads, rented their clothes, and laid open the book of the law, whereby the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So this goes back to Jacob and Esau, man. You know, they want they want to reverse all that that Rebecca had done to supplant Edom with uh with Isaac would still show you and just going a little deeper there's no such thing as some damn trinity right Yahweh and we know who Isaac was right where Isaac didn't have any power over that situation of what the most high wanted right at the end of the day and he was tricked into uh being supplanted uh, uh jacob was the supplanter of esau now esau wants that birthright he wants that image back and the most high did it and allow it just for him to feel it just for him to get his jealousy to try to take it back which he did well so he think he did and guess what at the end jacob esau is the end of the world and jacob is the, the one that begin of that follow -off. So I just thought this was interesting. Five hundred book, five hundred dollars to hide the truth in a book, and there's many more books like this. And why would they do that? This is obvious because they don't want you to know. And the they, we know who the they are. Anyway, that's all I have on that shallow one.